start charging people. Gets. Today we're putting Legends cartridges in Paul's soft tail. Little, what is this, a fat bob? Oh yeah, Obese Robert. This is Obese Robert. You guys may have seen this before if you followed. Alright, so we got Paul's bike. Like I said, we're doing some forks, some Legend inserts. Um, Paul bought all the stuff, including the specialty tools that you need for a soft tail. There's a gym socket that you need to buy to take the factory forks apart so you can get the cartridge in so we got all that laid out and the uh, first step first is you got to get down to the forks so we got to take off this beautiful fairing he put on our buddy caster painted um which looks great there'll be more to come on that because we're going to do a full bike of the month on this thing when it's all said and done but uh we got to pull out all the front end apart get the brakes the wheels the fender um and then get the forks slid out so all right what do you got over here all right, so these are the inserts, the cartridges that Paul ordered. They're for the 43 millimeter front end of a soft tail, obese Robert. So um, Paul would have had and ordered the specialty gems tool that you need. The other tool that we're waiting to get is you're also going to need a 40 millimeter uh, wrench for this guy right here. So we're going to have to find one of those, but we have the specialty tool um, from gems that'll help us take it apart. The uh, stock ones. We'll put that link in the yeah, video we'll description. But we'll include that. I think he's got his fork oil all ready to go. So. Yep. And like I said, first step, disassemble. Is it quick disconnect? Oh, yeah. Is it quick? Oh, it uses the windshield tab. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not sure what size this is. Why am I working on the ground? Devin, he's using the Craftsman wrench. Yeah, I like it. No. Thank you, Dude, I got nicer ratchets. We keep, or yeah, ratchet. We keep that in there for profiling purposes. I like it. Four teeth. That's not the old Craftsman, though. That is. This guy's no, I mean, like, the ones from the 90s were better than oh, the no. ones from the 2000s. That is, that's, that's, that's a stronger ring. Bring out the spacer. I missed that. Wheels out. Yeah, we were uh, eager to yank that out. So now, got the fairing off. Uh, got the front fender off, got the wheel just out now. So now all we got left to do is these six bolts, slide the forks out, and then all the work on the bench begins. And one day we'll actually buy one of those uh, proper vice mounts for fork tubes. So you keep seeing me doing suspension. Two, number two. I'll hold on to this one this time. <laughs> that was so funny. I couldn't believe how fast it was. I know, I thought I was going to try to pull it out. <laughs> Usually do. See the gym this tool. Is only on inverted yeah. forks, but so for the soft tails, the inverted forks, you need a specialty socket here for this guy right here. See that? See that? See that no. lock nut? No. You don't have a forty? No. Well, figure it out. O'Reilly's. I say, good thing they're building O'Reilly's a block from us. It's <laughs> just a dirt parking lot right now. 
we gotta get the rest of the fluid out, then we're gonna spin that out. Anybody can drop off a 40 millimeter wrench? <laughs> yeah, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hang on. I was wondering what this day? That's time to get it. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what this is washer. Oh, yeah, they gave us a uh, mountain washer. Oh, you're supposed to put it on the tool. Instructions. Go a long way. Does that lock it from spinning? It will. No. But it makes it so the tool doesn't slip off. Genius. <coughs> no, with the tool, it can't blow off. Oh. Let's see what you got. The tool can put everything else behind my greasy hands. I can speak for France. I've taken one of those to the gym before. Yeah, we're trying to present that today. Oh, that's right, because the tool attached to the piece that's going to go flying. Sure. Alright, Paul, well, hold on more. Stick in your fender there to stop it. <laughs> no. All that gets thrown away because these are full partners. Oh, yeah. You might need the limiting spring, right? No. Like ours? So I'm like, no, I don't think so. I think literally everything goes away. Oh, really? I don't spend them out. That's fine. That's good. So learn from what, learn from <laughs> what we don't do. You need a 40 millimeter. A service wrench. Vice grips will do in a pinch. Not even vice grips, channel locks. This I like to hold this and hand that to you. Oh, I, have to I like these a lot. For... We wow. had those. The Memphis shades. I think Devin's sold those. Yeah, I used to like those. Uh, I'm better debating on them. them. Mine hit my windshield. Mine are close. His look great on the bike. Those yeah, hook levers are stupid. Hey, is this working? They're awesome. Is it making me smarter? No. 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 I went a little heavy handed. Front lever? No. You want those ice cube brackets? How many ounces is it called for? 5.1. Close enough. Yeah. My wife should be pissed when she needs that. Now this is just for a little bit of lubrication between the cartridge and the factory fork. So you don't have, it's not like you're riding on the fluid like, you know, with the springs moving up and down like in the factory setting or setup. All right, so Paul just snug this down while we're out of the bike. We're going to finalize it once we clamp it down and get it, you know, re cap real cinched down. Um, but that was the hard one. So we're cranking right along here. So we're going to throw this one back in the bike for now. We don't have to worry about the height. This is just put it in there so it's not rolling around the counter. And we're going to start on the second one now. sleep at night doing two different brands of suspension front and rear here's Paul listen I'm limited with what I can use on this bike you and I are in the same boat yeah. RWDs in the rear I had their fronts but did not love them they would be great if I was on a track every day they're I amazing going real quick with the parts laid out. I guess I'm stepping in now to do the torque rectifications 15 foot pounds on this bottom Allen bolt. Somebody want to step in and uh, help hold this lower? Got it? You want to go till it clicks? And then one more just to verify it clicks. It's good to go. So no torque spec on that other fork? Nope, two different forks. The other one does not have a bolt on the bottom or not on the bottom to uh, one's preload one's rebound yeah so only this one needs that all right fork number two this one's eight point how many two eight point five eight point five ounces on this side because it's a different setup on the fork than the other one um this one is a little bit different design than the cartridge so 
So this one takes a little bit more. It's a slow, tedious process to fill it because they don't give you much room. You end up spilling, well, say, like that. You got it together. And then once this is in, we'll tighten it down and we're gonna slap it back in the bike. Just right off. Nothing else goes in there. Right. So we're about to do $100 well spent. I guess if you're gonna you do it, it right. <laughs> All because of that keyway. Yep. Or those teeth the way they match. Either way, for sale, 80 bucks or best offer. <laughs> <laughs> He does have the person. He's making short jokes. It's okay. I got a 1.5 lift in the back. What size is that? It's a three quarter. But I got a 19 in here. Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> I almost ordered a quarter but I assumed it would be good. Did you check my bits? Let's look. Let's see if I have metric swap of the world. I agree. Long way. Except flathead. Everything should be flathead. No. Everything should not. Flathead can go away. Yeah, I don't know. It's going on. Uh, I got five eighths, not three quarter. Everything should be squared. I can't get over how much you've done to this bike. Every time I see it, it's got more on it. Well, I don't think you're going to see anything else on it. I think yeah, you said that a month ago, the last time I saw you. I know, I didn't waste any time on this one. People have to leave a comment. Let us know what you think about this bike. We'll get it out in the sunshine in the spring. We'll do a full go around of the endless list of stuff Paul has in this thing. We'll learn how to wheel it. Oh, oh yeah. boy. That's this year's goal. Pop it up. I'm a pills for that. Wheelies. You got a venture bike, that's easy. Exactly. We got a scorpion clutch it up, we will. <laughs> uh, so that'll be the next one. <laughs> I already have it in my shopping cart. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the last thing we put on this motorcycle. Wait till you see my shopping cart I have on my computer. Yeah. <laughs> you got torque specs yet? Uh, 24 pounds. No, really? No wonder why they came off so easy. Yeah, fork bolts are not crazy tight. Oh, you found that out. Oh, yeah, they're, they're just like a pinch yeah. Paul, I went to 60 on mine one time. Snapped it right off. Snapped it clean off in the clamp. No kidding. Yeah, don't go. Let's get these down to this bevel. <laughs> we're up a little bit. You, you see that? Them out. You see that yeah, bevel? Yeah, see the bevel. All right, 20 foot pounds on these, these yep. pinch bolts here. Sorry. Right to that bevel, and we have to get right there. We have the bevel right there. We straight. Okay. All right, torque there.
hard to click on that one. Got that on the right way? Yeah. I think it's my first day. You want to become the silver boy? Or do you want to send it back in with what's on there? What? You want to become the silver boy? What's the silver boy? You never seen Kanye West when he's all silver? No. You never seen that photo? No. Here, you be silver. Nah, nah, I ain't being silver. <laughs> you never seen the meme, you know, you touch the never sees and then you just... It's all over you? No. I love GTA, but I'm only gonna use this cam. You gave me that cam. Yeah. I've been nursing that cam for like four years. Yeah, but do you have silver boy? Like, yeah, it's in the uh like hundred dollar right. cam. Cab into your right. Is it really? Yeah. How much is it? It's like a hundred bucks a cam. <laughs> if you can even get it. Don't go crazy. I'm not gonna be sharing that anymore. I'm gonna put that upstairs in my safe. <laughs> yeah, I can't get any more, so. So that's all. I still don't know how I feel about this. Apparently, this is how hard it's it how does. how hard it does at factory. Really? Mm -hmm, never sees. I used to always use grease, and then I found out that they use never sees, and now I have a hard time getting the axle out <laughs> every year. <laughs> I put new tires on. Easy, Devin. Bring it over. Is your spacer ready? Someone tell that heater to quit it. What do you mean quit it? Wow. 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 What? Is it snowing yet? Yeah. It's not the start of mine. Lay down on the wire here, you know, rip the suspension apart to try and get home before snow snowstorm. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Just Enjoy. the New England thing. Are you sure I'm lined up? I can't see. Paul, bezel and fairing back on. Bobby's working on brakes. You don't need brakes, they only slow you down. You guys haven't seen this trick yet? You know a Crown Royal drinker? It's a nice way to keep your brake calipers from getting chewed up while you're doing stuff like this. I don't want to jinx it, but I think we've actually just installed Legends in less than an hour with no fancy camera edits. Like this is actually gotta ride home before it snows. Hey, no one cares about me riding home before it snows? You got an adventure bike, you're part of the adventure. This is not an adventure bike. Although we can have some adventures on it. It's got adventure tires on it. Yeah, you got half an hour, you'll be fine. <laughs> not an hour, but it's not far off from the stock Pan American tires. They're for sale, I hate them. They're the worst tires. Are they? What'd you forget? I forgot to put fairing. Oh. The fairing's not factory, right? Oh no, that's what it looks like factory, right? Yeah, it looks terrible factory. Right? I love this bike. When we were shopping for our first bike, I wanted to get a kind of bike. It was a Dyna then. Now you got an obese Robert. <laughs> Better wide variety of bikes. Yeah, what? The Ducati when we first started riding. No, with you? no, he started on a uh, Harley 48. Oh, that's right. He's a Sportster for like three minutes. Yep. <laughs> and then you I had. Mean, the I don't even think I got a thousand miles out of that. Bike. I never even saw that bike. <laughs> then he bought the Ducati. Then he bought the cross country, which is a lot of miles on. And then he went a couple years without a bike. I call those the. <laughs> Understandable. Anyway, you put like what, 40k on that cross country at least? At least. I think you rode a Ducati a good amount too. Yeah, but that thing would be sore. Not ideal for the kind of riding I'm trying to do. Alright, got fender going back on. Get your bearing bracket, brackets. So that whole fairing is quick detachable, huh? Yep. That's kind of nice. Will that share the brackets if you wanted a big ugly windshield for like a trip or something? I don't know. Probably if it was the same brand. That'd be kind of nice. 
see there's a rubber seal in there right. and make sure there's no dips. She's got legs again. Look at that bearing. By our friend, Mr. Caster, Aaron Caster, Caster Customs. Nice match on that. Without the bike even fit. It's pretty much perfect. It is, yeah. I like the vented uh, windshield too. It's cool. Yet to see how it performs on the highway. Hoping you don't get any buffeting. Buffeting, buffeting, buffeting. Alright, home stretch. Um, Devin, your hands clean. Get up there and sit on the bike. I don't want to touch his grips because mine are all icy. We need well, who to puts sit white grips on a bike anyway? They're supposed to get darker. Gotta just test that pinch ball for your axle, but I'll go sit on the bike. What am I doing? Sitting on the bike so, so I can re-clamp it. Get the camera to ground. Oh, I got this. Off the jack. I mean, I would have done all ones first. It just keeps going down. <laughs> Still the bearing is so comfortable. It's going to be so pissed. Alright, cycle your, it. How your, feel? your elbow crackings are built in torque wrench. Stiff. Yeah. <laughs> well, the front tire is also held oh, and yeah, it needs yeah. to spin a little bit. You guys know? You just keep saying that. There's gonna be a turbo or a big bore or something. Oh, I think this thing needs a 135. Oh no, wait, that's only for the baggers. 135. Going for the baggers. Someone move my chair. I think that fall 2023. So in like six months, we do the turbos. Did you just say falls in six months? That's depressing. You doing Trask? Oh yeah. Trask Turbski. I, mean, I support that. Oh. One of one of them spinny boys. You got it. Yes, sir. Can you take the first ride? Can we? Can you? Do you want me to? Yeah. Were you scared? You don't trust our work? I mean, I was involved, so I trust it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want me to? I'll take it down the street. Because I want you to? I don't know why. Uh, take the mic off. Oh, yeah. Take the mic off. Fire up that zippers, Thumper 4000. <laughs> Can see you now all right guys well that concludes the legends install and paul's obese robert as he calls it um devin's taking it for a test spin make sure it's all straight and tight and good to go um thanks for watching hit that subscribe button like the video if you are into this sort of thing we really appreciate it we're almost at 2,000 subscribers and uh if you're the 2,000th subscriber Graham will personally ride to your house and give you a handshake. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please don't be overseas. <laughs>